Hi everyone and welcome to chapter 5 part 2. This is stem cells. Now in stem cells, there are a pretty fascinating bunch and these are a few features, right? Stem cells are undifferentiated cells that are able to continually divide via mitosis. So they don't have any specific particular function like respiration or muscle or whatever, right? They are undifferentiated, but they can continually divide mitosis. Why? Because they have telomerase, which we have learned last video, and this telomerase enzyme allows telomeres to not shorten after each cycle. If telomeres don't shorten, then the cell can divide many, many times over without stopping. Okay, And when it does divide, it's interesting because it can produce one of itself, so self-renewal, and it can produce a cell that can differentiate or specialize into another function. So it's very involved in repair. In stem cells, many genes are not switched off. So it's very versatile and it can differentiate into maybe multiple types of cells as well. Okay, so what do they do? All right, what, what, is, what are they for? Those are just the features, right? They again form cells that can differentiate and they divide to continue for divides to give a continuous supply of stem cells through the way they divide. And this is really for cell replacement and tissue repair. Again, these two are very um, related to each other and growth of multicellular organisms. For example, we have a blood stem cell here. Um, Types of blood stem cells are myeloid stem cells, and they can give rise to red blood cells, platelets, myoblasts, and all these different white blood cells that you don't need to know about. In this lymphoid stem cells here, you can see it can give rise into many different cells as well. And they because they can continually divide and continually make more of themselves, they are great to repair to replace cells that are damaged or anything like that. Because they can divide continuously, get it? Okay. Now, there are different levels though. There are some stem cells that are totipotent, so have total potential. There are pluripotent stem cells and multipotent stem cells. Okay, this part of uh, the syllabus isn't as important, uh, but sometimes you do see these words dotted around. What do we mean by totipotent, pluripotent, and multipotent? An example of a totipotent stem cells is when um, you were first a tiny, tiny embryo, right? So fertilized egg forms an embryo. Okay, one cell becomes two cells, becomes three, becomes four cells, becomes eight cells, right? It doubles each time. Um, and at this stage, each cell have unlimited capability. They can form extra embryonic membranes and tissues. This includes the placenta, the fluid around them, and the embryo itself. Now, after the embryo stage, it forms a blastosis. And inside here, there are pluripotent stem cells. These cells at this stage are more differentiated than the totipotent stem cells. Not very, but a little bit progressed already. And these cells are capable of giving rise to both, but not all tissues of the organism. The example of this is inner mass cells, which are these cells here. Inner mass cells, IMC, sometimes it's abbreviated like that, in the blastosis. Now, how about multipotent stem cells? We do not have, as adults, as fully formed human beings, right? We don't have totipotent and pluripotent stem cells anymore. We have multipotent stem cells only. These cells in us right now are committed to give rise to cells at a specific function. For example, we have seen blood stem cells. Blood stem cells are also called, called hemoporotic stem cells, and it can give, um, give rise to a range of different cells as we have seen just now, right? Red blood cells, white blood cells, different kind of white blood cells. However, a blood stem cell or hemopoietic, hematopoietic stem cells, it cannot simply differentiate into a nervous cell or nerve cell. No, it cannot. 
is tissue specific. But this is what we have right now. We don't have all of those anymore. Can you imagine if we are able to utilize stem cells and somehow get hold of the pluripotent or totipotent stem cells and make them into cells we want, maybe even build an entire new organ and, and you know, use it to heal people's wounds faster and, and something like that, right? That would be amazing. That would be like something from a sci-fi movie, correct? And you're right. Um, There are people, there are many scientists who are into stem cell research. And this is one of the things that came out of stem cell research that is quite well known. Um, scientists have tried to isolate these inner mass cells. They are pluripotent stem cells. Isolate them, culture them, and make them into specific types of tissue cells. I mean, specific of types of cells with specific functions in order to help healing and things like that. Um, there are some things that have worked and some things that have not. Now, what's more common though, this is kind of experimental, what's more common though, are stem cell therapy in terms of bone marrow transplant. So this is especially in people with uh, leukemia. Leukemia is the cancer of blood. Okay, it's a blood cancer and it affects a lot of the blood cells. So white blood cells, red blood cells. Um, and, the, and the patient here could take anti-cancer drugs or radiation and uh, on top of that, do a bone marrow transplant. And this is a type of stem cell therapies because what you're basically doing is removing um, some stem cells, not all, just some blood stem cells from the bone marrow from a healthy donor and inject it into the patient. The blood stem cells, when injected into a patient, usually into the bone marrow or into the arm like this, when it's injected in the recipient, those stem cells that are functional can healthily produce healthy blood cells and healthy white blood cells and allow the patient to regain some immunity and function in, you know, in their lives in general. So yeah, this is quite an exciting frontier for science. Um, feel free to watch some videos at the end of my slides in order to find out more. But that's it from stem cells for me. See you next video. Bye.